Hello dear students, today I am here with the topic career in zoology because I was getting lot of queries from my students regarding what to do after graduation. So I decided to make this video, hope it's useful for you. So before I start I would like to quote Jeff Rich, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So after graduation you should plan how you want to lead your life whatever goal you set it must be properly planned for setting a goal you must see what are your areas of interest what kind of job you want how much time you want to give to your work and your family so after doing bsc medical if you uh, you know want to change your line then you can go in for mba or law so for that you have to appear in their respective entrance exams and then you can pursue those courses also but if you want to uh, pursue msc then after doing bsc medical you can get admission in the following subjects for msc like zoology botany biotechnology microbiology biochemistry forensic sciences biosciences uh, postgraduate diploma in life sciences dmlt healthcare sciences and many other postgraduate diplomas are there where you can apply now once you get admission in msc zoology then different universities they have uh, specialization so you can opt for uh, entomology fisheries parasitology genetics physiology wildlife conservation or embryology and there are many other specializations also like systematics molecular biology so if you want to choose academics line then you can be a lecturer or you can be a researcher right for that you need to qualify csir net exam uh, that is national eligibility test which is conducted by CSIR so there are two options available for this exam LS and GRF LS is for a lecturership so if you qualify CSIR net LS then you are eligible for lecturership though you have to uh, complete your PhD also uh, and GRF means junior research fellowship uh, so if you qualify CSIR net exam with GRF then if you enroll for PhD then you get a fellowship uh, that is a stipend for your research work and after completing your PhD you can go in for postdoc also. Now uh, after uh, doing your MSc depending upon the specialization of your uh, you know master's degree you can uh, there are numerous uh, job opportunities available you can be an assistant professor uh, that we have already discussed uh, how to be an assistant professor uh, and if you aspire to work around animals and if your specialization is in wildlife then you can be a wildlife educator or wildlife biologist you can be a zoo curator zookeeper also uh, or you can opt for environmental consultant environmental educator officer nature conservation officer so uh, their responsibility is to uh, for creating awareness of environmental issues as well as promoting conservation and uh, sustainability right you can be a toxicologist also so uh, with increase in our health consciousness as well as concern for environment a wide variety of career opportunities are uh, they are in toxicology also you can be a uh, animal behaviorist so these are also known as animal psychologists they diagnose and consult on behavioral disorders in animals and how to prevent these disorders so they um, yeah, you know they may work in zoos or the most common area of work is pet behavior counseling you can be an entomologist also so entomologists they develop ways to control harmful insects they research control insect borne diseases also they discover and study new insect species you can be a museum curator a marine scientist or animal breeder you can also make documentaries of films there are uh, you know 
various channels like National Geographic uh, channel, Animal Planet, Discovery, they're always looking for such films. You can go in for Animal Husbandry. Uh, it is concerned with the animals raised for meat, milk, fiber, eggs. So uh, you can have your own poultry farm also. You can go in for fisheries. Uh, here you can find a job in both the government and private sector. For government job, you can appear for uh, recruitment exams conducted by government agencies from time to time. Or you can have your own fish breeding farm also. Then you can go in for Indian Forest Services. It's a, a civil services exam which is conducted by UPSC for recruitment of officers at all India level by the government of India for scientific management of forests. So I want to convey my message that whatever field or line you opt for, you need to look far. You should have an eagle's eye view for whatever line you choose. Your aspirations should be higher because you definitely get whatever you aspire for and in the end I would like to say that think big, trust yourself and make it happen. Thank you so much. I hope you like this video then please subscribe and share.